Let's try and convert, now convert to binary. I'm going to do the same again, but instead of thinking of powers of 3, I'm going to think of powers of 2. What's the biggest power of 2? You can fit into 47. It's the fifth power of 2, which is 32. 32. Um, I've got some numbers left over. What do I have left over? 15. So now I think, well, what's the biggest power of 2 I can fit in here? Hmm. Can you fit, what's the next one? It's 16. Can you fit 16 in there? No. So you go to the next one, which is 8. And you can fit 8 in. So you say 8 plus, what's left over? 7. 32 plus 8 plus, what's the next one? It's going to be 4, right? Plus 3, and then I'm pretty much there. Have I written everything in powers of 2? I have, right? I'm there. So now I'm going to write the powers of 2 as powers of 2. This, as, um, as Raj said, that's 2 to the 5. I've got one of those. What's this one? That's 2 cubed. So I've got one of those. I've got a 2 squared. I've got a 2 to the power of 1. And lastly, I have a 2 to the power of 0, like that. So that's all in decimal. So finally, I can say 47 base 10 is equal to, all right, remember before? Which number were we paying attention to? It's these guys. See those? The ones at the front, OK? So I start from the biggest number, and I go 1. That's how many 2 to the 5s I have. How many 2 to the 4s do I have? Zero. Zero. How many 2 cubes do I have? One, two squares, two to the ones, two to the zero. That is 47 in base two. Okay, one last example. Because I said it up the front, uh, base 16, right? And it's a bit funny to write, okay? Um, now we'll convert to hexadecimal. So this is all in decimal right now. 47 is equal to, OK. We're in base 16 now. So you have to think of powers of 16. Powers of 16. Hmm. What's the biggest power of 16 that fits in there? It's 16, isn't it? But it doesn't just fit once. How many times does it fit in? You can get 16 and 32 in there. We already noticed this, right? So you've got two lots of 16 that fit in there. And then you've got what left over? You've got 15, don't you? OK, now this is really weird. It's a cool bit, OK? Watch this. Um, this is two lots of 16 to the power of 1. And then I can't fit any more powers of 16 in, can I? Right, this is the last one. 15 lots of 16 to the 0. That's a bit weird. OK, so now I'm going to write it. 47 base 10. I'm going to look at the digits, right? Um, I'm going to do it one more time. Highlight them in green, just like I had before. 2 and 15. Each one of those has a hexadecimal digit. Just like here, each one of these was a ternary digit. And each one of these was a binary digit. By the way, we have an abbreviation for binary digit. Binary digit, we call it a bit. Binary digit, and anyway. That's, that's what bits are, if you're wondering what bits are. When you have a look at these guys, the first one is a 2. I know what 2 is. But what's a digit for 15? We don't have a digit for 15. So here's what hexadecimal does, right? It counts up just like we do. It goes. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, normally in decimal, you're like, I've run out of digits. So now I have to introduce a second digit, right? That's 10. But hexadecimal is like, no, 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 no. 
I don't have 10 digits. How many digits does base 16 have? It has 16 digits, right? So it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And when it says 10, it writes that. That is 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What's 16? I've run out of digits. Hexadecimals run out of digits, right? So just like all the other base systems, it needs a new one. So it says, mark this, 16. That's weird, right? Hexadecimal, right? That's, that's weird, isn't it? There are 16 digits, here they are, 16 digits in base 16. There are 10 digits in base 10. But once you get to that last number, you're like, oh no, I've run out of digits, I've run out of symbols, right? So therefore, once you get to the next level, you add a new place value. So that one isn't one lot of 10. It's not one lot of 10, it's one lot of 16. So there's a 16, and then there are no units, okay? fries your brain a little bit. Okay, so therefore, therefore, which number was 15? Have a look on my list. Which number was 15 in decimal? It's, really? It's F. Very good. So this number, this number means two lots of 16, 15 lots, or F lots if you like, 15 lots of 16 to the zero. That's a bit weird but that's what hexadecimal is like, okay? So, yeah, question? So if the number, if you have to write 16, then would you write 210? Okay, so the way I would write it is 16 in base 10, I would write that, this is a bit weird, as 10 in base 16. Um, 17 in base 10 looks like this in base 16, because it's just the next number over. It keeps going. Say for example, uh, 32 in base 10. Think about this. Think about going through this process, right? That's going to be two, because that's how many 16s I can fit in there. How many units are left over? There, there are no more units, like so. Okay.